Good morning. Well, let's see if I end up posting this up. Doing one last uh, little thing for the year. I guess with a little political vibe to it. <laughs> Just a little. And when I do these things, it's not because of the immediate timeline. If there's going to be one thing said to leave for our children's children, it's to make sure that they live in America. Okay? And that, that those things that had happened 100 years ago affect us now in our laws and legislation. Those things that are happening right now will affect the Americans in a hundred years. I don't know, maybe my box is a lot bigger, <laughs> but that's the way I think. And when I look at that, you know, and it doesn't matter what party. It doesn't matter who it is. You know, um, when you lay down some of these thoughts, is what they begin with. You know, this needs to be corrected. This, this should, we should put this in place. And, you know, um, it's not done flippantly. It's it's done methodically with a lot of uh, forethought and a lot of debate. Okay. I'll get to the point. The point of the insurrection clause is that anybody that was thinking about going in and doing an insurrection, meaning a dividing of our nation, meaning a taking over because of whatever reason. Um, and, and trying to claim for yourself, okay? Against the will of the people, right? You can play around the word all you want, but it's, it's pretty clear. It's just a game playing. I mean, to even to even do that as a game play. That's like saying, we the people. Well, that's kind of vague. Really? Is it? Why? Because you can't see that big of a crowd. You can't see the forest through the trees. We the people means everybody. Okay? And everyone voted. And at one time things might have been tight. Well, this wasn't as tight as it should have been when it got when it was voted. Or not as it should have been. It wasn't as tight as it has been. On top of it, you had somebody who had already had the forethought of not going away. He was not going to give it up. That right there if I would have been backing them, I would have been going, I'm not liking this at all. Because one thing is to follow a person to be a leader. But another thing is, is that leader taking over on his own or her own. That is anti-democratic, period. And so, so the, the notion that <clears throat> we, um, we're even allowing these games to be playing is, is totally mind boggling to me. We're totally off our rocker and our adversaries are watching every single move. They're just lining up their own chess pieces and ready to be ready to take out. I'm guaranteeing you that because it's always been that way. 
wasn't that long ago that World War II happened in the grand scope of history okay think out the, think the size box that you're in I that we're now going into these uh, things where each state is showing is showing not showing the colors but showing their understanding of the of the law okay that law being the insurrection law and one of the latest ones brought up the concept of that the former president had to have known the severity of what was going down. Had to have known what was happening on January 6th. Okay? And because of that, that's the reason for their ruling. I'm going to put one fourth, one thing out there even more. Any president that you have to say that about, okay? This would be any president because this could happen again or again or whatever. It will happen again. There's going to be times that some tyrant, I'm not going to say anything, but some tyrant will try to take over. And we better be prepared. Okay. They had they had to have known. He had to have known that this was going down. I'm going to put forth the thing saying he had to have known this was happening, that this was an insurrection. He had to have known it. Okay? And if he didn't, I don't want a person sitting at the highest seat of the land that oblivious, that ignorant, whether I voted for him before or not. Again, I say, what are these games that we're playing? It just does not make sense. I guarantee you, anybody 20 years ago would have had more common sense than what's going on right now. 20 years ago. Okay? Any Republican 20 years ago, 30 years ago, would be looking and going, oh, no, 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 no. This is wrong. So I'm not sure what has happened, but... um, and, and again, I'm going to say, it could happen on anybody's watch. It could happen on anybody's ticket. It could happen on any party's uh, situation. This is the thing. These are the times that test men or whatever that saying is. And we, um, we need to rise above that. I'm not understanding clearly. As big as the box that I'm sitting in, I'm not understanding where we're missing the mark on this. Outside of the fact that a lot of people are watching TV and not thinking for themselves. Plain and simple. That's a fact, Jack. Okay? Don't get me started on the media thing. I could spend another hour talking about that. And it's our interpretation, just like our interpretation of the words of the Constitution or Declaration of Independence or any of those things. Okay? But when you start adding the game playing in there, Okay, that's when it that's when it gets muddied up. Just like reading any scripture, any scripture, 
You're supposed to remove yourself and listen to the words. Remove your own biases and listen to the words to better understand. Clearly, we're having a hard time understanding in 2023. May our clarity be very, very um, smooth. Dare I ask a smooth transition again? In 2024. That's not hard to do. You just got to be a good sport about it. Stop the game plan. <sighs> there. Nothing but love. And... Uh, Happy New Year, I guess. <laughs>